I decided to go ahead and do a video on the statistical data portion of this because there are a few things that don't seem immediately obvious, at least to me. So I'm going to enter in my X and Y values here. So I have, well, let me just say first, before you start entering any statistical data, you want to clear your registers. So I did shift and clear those registers. Now, I enter my X value, 40.5, separate it, and 104.5. And then I'm going to store it. So I do the summation plus, and that just shows me that I have one value in my register. 38.6 and 102, store it, I have two values. 37.9 and 100, store it. 36.2 and 97.5, store it, and 35.1 and 95.5. So I have five values entered into my statistics register. If I want to see my X and Y um, averages, the mean, so that is the mean of my X values, the mean of those, and if I swap here, the enunciator is showing me there's another number in the other register. That is the mean of my Y values. If I look at my weighted means, that gives me the mean weighted by these values, or the Y values there. I can look at my sample standard deviations. So there's my X. And again, swap to see the Y standard deviation. This also has done a linear regression. So if I look at M and B here, that shows me the slope of these points that have been plotted out. If I do swap, that shows me the Y intercept. So M and B. I can also, based off that linear regression, find a predicted value. So say I want to find um, 101, so I enter in 101, and I want to find out what X value that would, would, uh, would correspond to a Y value of that given my linear regression. So I do that, and it says that 38.31 would give me an X value, or a Y value of 101, and it does fall in between the 38.6 and the 37.9. If I swap, again, the enunciator is showing me there's another number there, that gives me my R. So my R value is 0.996, etc. just based on the precision that I have shown on the screen, it looks like one. So it's a pretty good fit. I can go the other way too, so let's say a value of 37, and then I see what my Y value is going to be, given an X value of 37. And it does fall in between my these two data points, so it looks like it's working. And again, swap, and I'm just showing more precision here, but we have a pretty good uh, correlation, R value. Now, the last thing that doesn't seem immediately obvious, at least to me, is that these right here, you have the sum of the x squared, the sum of the y squared, the sum of x times y, the number of data points, some of the x's, and some of the y's. So those are actually stored in these registers. So you have to use recall, and let's recall four, which is in, and that shows us we have five numbers, or five values, stored within our register. If I use recall five, that's the sum of the x's, that shows me the sum of all of these values. Recall six, the sum of the y's, so that's the sum of all the y values. And the other two, the sum of the x squared, sum of the y squared, sum of x times y, you know, those are used often in statistics. So you can access those as well. But that, that wasn't immediately obvious when I first looked at the calculator, so I wanted to point that out. Yeah, the enunciator was showing there just from previously. There's only one number in that register. 
All right, well, that's statistics.